so here we are trying to save money and Kerry goes and buys Tupperware. That's $80 a set for Tupperware. But it's really good Tupperware. Buy one of those cheap $20 sets that, you know, are only good for like a year or two and then the lids get all warped in the washer because, you know, it's cheap plastic. But this is good stuff. I feel like these are like the Tesla of Tupperware. Like, look how beautiful. Smooth, clean lines, you know, and you just, it's like so satisfying. Well, that is actually kind of cool. It's airtight and then just We're looking at this as an investment because if we're not gonna eat out as much and we're gonna make food at home, we have proper ways to store all our dry goods, you know? Can I get more? <laughs> She's like, can we get another set? She's just trying to get validated. I've never put much thought into Tupperware, but it's nice because they're all streamlined. Like there's only three sizes of caps. So there's the small square, and then you have big square, and then you have rectangle, and that's it. So the three sizes, stackable, it's actually pretty efficient. The brand's called OXO, O-X-O. You should be like an infomercial lady. I, I did a lot of research. I looked at like so many different pages, and this one is like almost always on the list. There's reviews on Tupperware. Yeah. The other day she was upset on the phone and I was like, what's wrong? She's like, my Tupperware isn't here yet. I'm on hold with Bed Bath & Beyond. And that is how you end up spending $80 for a set of Tupperware. Now here's something that was sent to me a little while ago, Chasing Dory. I tested an underwater drone before, which was cool, but it was also pretty massive. So this thing is travel size, it has a one hour runtime, waterproof up to 49 feet and 1080p with an f1.6 lens. And this looks like it's gonna float and also it's the Wi-Fi receiver. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this on the charger. Now the beaches in LA are closed, but someone in the comments said you can go and test it at Huntington Beach. They're still open, so we might go scope that out. And if it's busy, we're just gonna turn around, but if it's empty and we can safely test it while social distancing, Let's give this a shot, I'm very curious. They also sent me this backpack where I think I can just shove everything into. Full underwater drone setup in this little teeny backpack. Is it any good? Let's go check it out. I feel like we're on a reality TV show because yeah. they always have the GoPros in the car. Yeah, <laughs> we're just in the autopilot right now and it is just taking these turns. <laughs> oh. Okay, you have to take it over now, right? No, it's still going. Oh my God. And perfect. That was... It took us all the way off the freeway. That was perfect. The real reason why we're down here is actually our lease is gonna end pretty soon and we have to scope out the areas. Trying to find a place to move to has been a little bit trickier because you can't just go and just have tours of the home anymore. They recommend just scoping out the area and then taking like a 3D photo tour of the house, mm -hmm. which I feel like doesn't really do it justice. But we're looking at the different neighborhoods to see you know, which parts that we wanna live in. There's all these people getting arrested here, so maybe not this neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> this whole area is actually really awesome. Right now we're looking at a spot that's right next to the beach, but there's no parking here. So that's gonna be a little bit tricky because you have two motorcycles and two cars. Imagine just how every time you come home, you, ha you have to look for parking. How frustrating would that be? Well, you'd get more use out of the one wheels, that's for sure. Oh, you could one wheel everywhere. Yeah. This is Long Beach. The beaches are... are close. Should we go to Huntington? I stayed up really late last night because I just started watching this random video about a guy who started sailing out of here. I think it was a 27 foot sail oh. and he went from here to Hawaii. What? Yeah. No, -uh. no it's crazy. It, That's like, he vlogged scary. the whole thing. Man, I was watching it. I was like, wow, that is such a different life. Yeah. It is so intense. And he like sometimes goes like, eh, we got a little bit of wind today. And then he shows like the outside and it's all these waves crashing on the bow and his whole boat's like rocking. And he's just like, he's super chill. I'll link it right there just because I've found it really amusing. I watched the whole freaking thing. And like some days he's like, yeah, I only went like five miles today. About a third of the way in the video, he's like, yeah, it's been a week. I'm like, man, that's that's intense. But just seeing how he like does stuff. And it was intriguing because it was so different from what we know. Right. I can see that being kind of cool. It takes a certain type of person to do that, huh? Like he probably has no problem with social distancing right now. We made it to the dog beach and it's actually empty here. So it's perfect and it's open and the dogs are allowed. Oh, this is gonna be good. I was worried this place was gonna get packed, but it's wide open, so this is awesome. I don't know where we're gonna live, but it's gonna be close to here. So <laughs> that's gonna be amazing, huh? Yeah. What do you think, Chicky? You like it here? I don't think this is the best place to launch this Nemo, though. I think it's too choppy and too shallow. Look, Peter, you wanna go make some friends? Well, maybe we'll do that at the lake tomorrow. So 
Let's cut to that. All right, so let's try this again. We got some calmer waters. This is supposed to automatically turn on when you connect one side to this Wi-Fi buoy and this side over to here. Another thing about this is I think it's $4.99. Like the last one I tested, I think was like 1700 bucks. Now, I don't think there's that many people that are willing to spend 1700 bucks on an underwater drone. I'm not even 100% sure how many people would be willing to spend $500 on an underwater drone, but compared to 1700 bucks, it's definitely whole lot better and also the size is like the big thing for me and I guess this extra rope is in case you want to just clip the buoy to this as a safety tether but if you're not going that far I don't even think you have to drop this in the water there's the camera oh hi Carrie yeah. <laughs> so there's the image quality I'm gonna go ahead and dip this in and then let's boot it up oh Makes a little splash. Oh, this cable kind of turned into a mess here. I don't even know what I'm really looking at. I don't know how much we're gonna see here. The water's kind of murky. Oh, I hit the ground. Oh, whoa, oh crap. I just, I, all of a sudden it went from me not seeing anything to all of a sudden there's a lobster right in front. That was kind of freaky. Or I think it was a lobster. I probably freaked the crap out of this lobster. I'm sorry, lobster man. That's crazy. I honestly didn't even expect to find anything. The water visibility is very poor though, so I don't think we're gonna see too much. Seeing that lobster was probably the most exciting thing we're gonna see on this little adventure. It's also a little bit trickier to control than I thought it would be. I have honestly I have no idea where it even is. The dogs are so intrigued by it. They're like, what the heck is that? It seems like something I'm gonna need some practice to operate. Like I don't even know what I'm really looking at here i'm slowly getting the hang of how to control this thing but i'm still constantly like bumping into stuff i don't know i think i need a bit more practice with this at least we saw a lobster that was pretty cool i think it just takes some getting used to and also the super murky water doesn't really help once the quarantine's over i think what we need to do is go to catalina island and do some testing there lots of clear water and some fishies there but that's it for now have you guys tried going to a starbucks drive through during this quarantine by the way the lines are so crazy. Every single one, at least here in LA. They're probably just bored. It's like, let's go to Starbucks. Yay. Yeah, probably. That will huh? kill 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, we went through a drive through also. Starbucks. It was like 30 minutes. Looking for spots where we could do a little bit of filming while keeping our distance from everyone else. Apparently, this parking lot's always packed, right? Yeah. But also, good news. We had 600,000 subscribers on the main channel today. Woo! But yeah, we're gonna do a little bit of filming here. Sam's shooting on the C300 Mark II. How do you like that thing? Actually, it's really good. I like how everything's just very simplified. Yeah, Sam's been shooting a lot on the red recently and it, it works, but it's also a lot heavier, right? And that yeah. autofocus, I swear, makes a huge difference. Like, of course, manual focus, you're gonna be able to control it more, but it just takes up so much of your attention to hit it perfectly. With autofocus, you see that square on my face and you're like, oh, cool, I can forget about it. For us, very very good because you're constantly like running around in it and we like go from one place to the next and this one is just built for that it's built for documentaries and like running gun stuff like <laughs> yeah all the time. yeah and the boot up time also uh, like with yeah. the red it's like oh turn it on all right and all these buttons chill. right here in my hand that i could just go bloop, 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 and then the red i have to be like tap tapity tap 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 but yeah, we're doing a little bit of filming here about the Osmo action. I mean, this thing's actually gotten a lot better since I originally reviewed it with the firmware update. So video about that coming on the Potato Jet channel. But all of you guys subscribe to the Potato Jet channel. Thank you, 600,000 subscribers. That's freaking awesome. Overall, I think this underwater drone is cool. I still want to do a whole lot more testing with it. So more of that to come. It's hard testing out a lot of stuff during quarantine. It's not super easy to find cool locations that are empty. So we'll have to circle back on this at a later date. I asked Carrie to take a shot of tequila with me because I just hit 600,000 subscribers. She's like, no. But she said at a million, she'll take a shot with me. So that gotta get to a million. <laughs> also, I saw this on Instagram the other day. <laughs> Ready? Oh, that was pretty perfect. Also, this channel made another $250 in AdSense revenue. So let's go ahead and donate that. Susie says, maybe feedingamerica.org. They also have a link for finding local food banks that need help. 
if you want to do something locally. And then Jacob says, please consider donating to your local animal shelter and adoption center. Carrie knows someone at the Best Friends organization, so we can donate that. Let's do a 50-50 split. Your gift to the animals save lives. Your contribution to Best Friends goes straight to work helping tens and thousands of animals. Let's go ahead and do this at 125. Thank you for your gift. What inspired you to give a gift today? Jacob Roberts did. Jacob Roberts. This is fun, I like doing it. It is fun, isn't yeah. it? And feeding America, fight hunger and spark change, help food banks respond to COVID-19. And there we go, bang, done. So thanks for the suggestions and also thank you for the support. Every time you guys watch an ad on this channel, you contribute to this fun. So let's do good things. Well, Carrie won't take a shot with me to celebrate 600,000, but I know someone who will. Cheers. Ah, Ooh. ouch, I punched the table at her. <laughs> That's it for today. I'll see you guys on the next one. Oh. I did not go as planned. I wanted to catch it in my mouth. Bah! What I should have done is this. Oh, that was actually reversed. I, I, I went, ha. A little bit of editing trickery. <laughs>